welcome to your stretch class for legs. Um, so hopefully feeling nice and powerful and fiery after that short but sweet power leg flow. Um, so now we're just going to really open up down the backs of the legs and the quads, feeling nice and rejuvenated for our class tomorrow. And um, so we're going to start by lying on our backs. We're going to bring our left knee into our chest. And then we're going to kick the leg up towards the sky and we're going to grab to wherever we can. So if you can either grab behind the quad and pull your knee, pull your leg towards you like this, flexing both feet so even the left leg is switched on, pulling it closer to you. If you are a little bit more flexible then you can grab the calf or you can either grab, even grab the two peace fingers around the big toe. The, the leg doesn't have to be straight, as long as you can feel um, the stretch down the back of the right leg, then that's fine. Now we're going to open our leg out to the right side. So if you if you are holding the back of the um, back of the quad, then I would suggest bending the knee and then opening it like this. So you've got the knee bent and just letting it fall out to the right side, using your hand to pulling it pull it slightly closer to the ground. If you are higher up, then you can grab the toe and you can let the leg fall out like this. Taking whichever option you feel is right for you today keeping this left leg switched on and powerful coming back through center now we're going to bend in this left knee as well and we're going to hook the right foot on top of the left knee Keep both feet flexed and we're going to pull this left leg towards our body. As we do this, we want everything to be hugging towards us except from the right knee which we want to be pushing away from us and this is going to increase the stretch um, through the legs. So we, you can either grab behind the left um, thigh or if you're a bit more flexible then you can go for the left knee, just whatever it feels right for you today. Just make sure that right knee is able to push out whilst everything else comes in. Keeping those feet flexed to protect the knees. And just let it go we'll just hold the knees in and we're just going to circle them round so um, we'll go um, to hug them in and just make circular motions with the legs doing a few each way so going one way and then making sure that we go the other way and then we're going to just let that right knee fall out to the mat flexing through the foot so it stays switched on hugging that left knee in and then taking the same variation you did on the other side, so either grabbing behind the thigh or the calf or even the two piece fingers around the big toes and pulling that leg closer to your body so you can really feel the opening down the back of the hamstring. Mate, you can actually grab two hands onto the foot if you need to just to give it that little bit extra force, but still being gentle and kind to yourself.
Now again, letting this left knee come out to the left side. So if you had the two piece fingers, then you can hold the leg out straight and do it like that. Or you can just grab the knee and let the knee fall out to the left side. Again, keeping that right leg really switched on, powerful. Making sure both shoulders are still on the mat. into the body bring pick up that right um, leg and take lying down pigeon on the right side so hooking that left foot on top of the right knee hug that knee and um, the right knee into your body either um, either interlace the hands behind the thigh or around the calf wherever you can reach but make sure the feet are flexed the entire time to protect the knees and the left knee has got the um, action of pushing away from your body whilst everything else is coming coming in closer release. Now we're just going to come over onto our bellies. We're going to bring that right hand across our body and just bend the left leg and pull that quad towards you. So you might be up here, that's fine. As long as you can feel the stretch through the quad, then you're doing the right thing. So if you are more flexible, then maybe flipping the grip so that you can bring that toe to touch the bum. You don't want the knees to flare out, so they want to be as close together as possible. And then pushing through this right hand, which will lift the heart and increase the stretch. release without flicking it out and then just come to that side at uh, that stretch on the other side so left arm comes across the body bend that right knee knees to touch grabbing that foot so maybe being here and that's fine as long as you can feel a deep opening in the quad or flipping the grip and pulling the foot closer to the bum always pushing through this arm up to increase the stretch Then we're just going to use our hands to push ourselves up into a downward facing dog just so we can bring that right knee to the chest, stuff it in between the hands and come to a low lunge. So we'll just bring our hands onto our front knee and just sink deep into that left hip flexor, keeping our hips square and making sure our knee isn't going over our toe. Now we're going to come to a wide-legged forward fold from this position. So you're just going to use your hands, tuck those back toes under and just pivot on that back foot so then you can land in a wide leg seated forward fold, hopefully. <laughs> if you're not there, then get there now. And then we'll all grow up strong, pointing our toes up to the sky, 
and having the sensations of your kneecap pulling up towards your body and this will just allow you to gain more um, room in your body to get closer to the floor and deepen the stretch. So we're going to lower our bodies down to the mat. Um, you might be up here and that's fine as long, as long as you can feel the opening or maybe bringing some blocks just to bring the floor closer to you so that you can have that kind of resting um, sensation rather than struggling. And just be wherever you can get to today. Maybe ev with every inhale, grow a bit longer and exhale, edging yourself that little bit deeper into the posture. Just really surrendering into your mat. Gently with control, pushing yourself up. Now we're going to, um, you're going to be facing the back of your mat. So just listen to what I say, um, and you'll know what's going on. So we're literally just going to turn back into our low lunge on the left side. So tucking that back, the right foot under, and then come up onto that um, left foot and just power up the arms. So I know you won't be able to see me now, probably, but just sit, making sure those hips are square, making sure and um, pushing deep into that right hip flexor and just bring those um, hands to the knee and push deeper into the posture. release and then we'll just come through our wide-legged forward fold and then we're just going to swing that left leg round to the front of the mat so you're back facing me and we're going to come into our forward fold so maybe pulling out the flesh on the bum cheeks it just gives you a little bit more room to get deeper into the posture and we're going to just come into a really passive um, variation of forward fold so I just I don't want you to be grabbing your toes I want you to be just let, leave your arms to rest on the mat and you can round and give you permission to round your spine and then just feel just let gravity do the work and you should feel yourself edging deeper and deeper um, and maybe getting deeper than you usually would so keeping these feet flexed and just letting those hands rest on the mat and just letting our head sink towards the legs like you to grab your toes maybe bending the knees if you need to to be able to get that hook and just see if you can edge yourself deeper and now we've done that passive version you might get deeper than you usually do in this active version engaging those knees and pulling your thighs up towards your body and having the sensation of your heart coming towards your toes now And we'll just come to a seated position or kneeling, however you please, and we'll do a couple of releasing breaths. So inhale, hands up to the sky. 
exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Namaste. Well done everyone for completing day three. So only two more days to go. Um, hope you're feeling nice and strong and refreshed after that nice stretch. Um, just so you know, I am doing a live Zoom class next Wednesday morning. So it'll be Wednesday the 13th of May. Um, if any of you want to join, then just comment or message me or whatever. Um, so yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys on the mat very soon. Bye.